Maintaining a perfect Sado starter can be daunting for home bakers, but the Broughton Taylor Sado Home offers a welcome relief. This innovative device provides an ideal environment for your starter, ensuring it thrives and giving you the confidence to explore new culinary techniques. I'm excited to delve into the details of the Broughton Taylor Sado Home. Let's see what makes it stand out. Does it solve the problems of the discerning Sado baker? Hi, I'm Suna, and I'm not just a food enthusiast, I'm a full-blown food geek. And I'm here to share my passion and knowledge with you. The Sado Home is a small heater and refrigerator built into a tiny box. That makes it an excellent tool for the Sado baker, especially those who use their ovens as an incubator and accidentally have family members kill their starter by turning it on. I used this device for several months before making this review to ensure that I knew how it performs as a regular kitchen tool. Thus, you don't have to fork out your hard-earned cash without knowing what you're getting yourself into. All right, let's go over the pros and cons of this device. First, the pros. Precise temperature control. One of the most significant advantages of the Broughton Taylor Sado Home is its ability to maintain exact temperatures. Whether your Sado culture requires cooler or warmer conditions, you can set the device anywhere from 5 to 50 degrees Celsius. That's 41 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. This broad temperature range ensures that the yeast and bacteria in your starter remain active and healthy, avoiding detrimental effects of temperature fluctuations. Consistency in temperature is vital to achieving the best result in your Saudo baking endeavors. Versatility. The Saudo home is far from a one-trick pony. Beyond maintaining Saudo starters, its precise temperature control capability makes it incredibly versatile. In addition to using it as a home for your starter, it's also perfect for fermenting yogurt, creating delicious and healthy kefir at home. Additionally, if you're into chocolate making, you can temper chocolate precisely, ensuring a smooth and glossy finish. This multifunctional use adds significant value to the device, making it a worthwhile investment for various culinary tasks. Compact and efficient design. Space is often at a premium in kitchens and the Sado Home's compact design is a major plus. It fits easily on a countertop without taking up too much room, making it suitable for kitchens of all sizes. Moreover, its energy efficient operation means you won't see a significant spike in your electricity bill, even with regular use. This efficiency is crucial for those who plan to use the device frequently, ensuring it remains a practical addition to your kitchen arsenal. User-friendly interface. Broughton Taylor designed the Sado Home with the user in mind. Its straightforward and intuitive design allows you to set and adjust the temperatures easily. The digital display is clear and easy to read, ensuring you can monitor the temperature at a glance. This user-friendly design is particularly beneficial for beginners in Sado baking, helping them achieve consistent results without a steep learning curve. Reliable performance. Consistency is crucial when maintaining a Sado starter and the Sado home delivers reliable performance. It keeps a set temperature within a narrow margin, ensuring your starter remains active and healthy. This reliability means you can trust the device to take your Sado bread to the next level, producing loaves with excellent texture and flavor. There is a caveat, but I'll get into that in the con section. Let's move on to the cons. Price. One of the main drawbacks of the Broughton Taylor Sado Home is its price point. Retailing at around $100 to $120, it represents a significant investment for a kitchen gadget. While serious bakers committed to maintaining their Sado starters might find it worth the cost, it could deter casual hobbyists or those new to Sado baking. It's essential to weigh the benefits against the cost to determine if it fits your baking needs correctly. Design and construction. The device's construction is another potential downside. Made primarily from plastic and lightweight, the Sado Home may not feel as durable or high quality as some people expect from a premium kitchen gadget. 
It could be a concern for those who prefer kitchen appliances with a more solid and sturdy build. The lighter weight can also make the device feel less stable on the counter, potentially affecting its perceived value. Limited capacity. The Sado Home can hold a container of up to one liter, which may be limiting for those who maintain larger quantities of starter. While this capacity is sufficient for most home bakers, more is needed for those who bake in larger batches or maintain multiple cultures. If you regularly bake large quantities of sourdough bread, you might find the limited capacity to be a significant limitation. Cooling efficiency. Although the sourdough home is excellent at heating, its cooling efficiency could be more robust. While it can cool to 5 degrees Celsius, 41 degrees Fahrenheit, it does not cool as efficiently as it heats. This could be a consideration for those who live in warmer climates or need to cool their starter quickly. If rapid cooling is a priority for you, this might be a notable drawback to consider. Let's compare it to another popular device, the Sour House Goalie. Both aim to maintain sourdough starters, but there are some key differences. The Broad & Taylor Sourdough Home offers a broader temperature range, making it more versatile. The Goldie, however, has a fixed temperature setting of 24 to 28 degrees Celsius, 75 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit, and lacks effective cooling capabilities, which can be limiting in warmer environments. Design-wise, the Goldie is more aesthetically pleasing with a sleek modern look, while the Sado Home focuses on functionality. Price-wise, the Goldie is slightly cheaper, but the Sado Home's versatility might justify the extra cost for serious bakers. In conclusion, the Broad & Taylor Sado Home is a valuable investment for the serious sourdough baker. Its precise temperature control, versatility, and reliable performance make it a great addition to any kitchen. While it's priced higher and has some limitations, its benefits far outweigh those drawbacks for those passionate about baking. But if a lower price and ease of use are more important, please check out my review of the Sour House Gold. If you're interested in purchasing the Broad & Taylor Sourdough Home, you can do that through the link in the description. Please note that this is an affiliate link and I will receive a commission if you purchase. This helps support the creation of more content like this review. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider joining my Patreon. You can also buy some merch or use the super thanks or use the links for tools and ingredients in the description. I hope you learned something today. See you next time. Cool.